Okay, can you all hear? Okay, great, everyone can hear. Okay, I finally got on. <laughs> hey mate, um, do you have a shirt on and you can jump on camera? Yeah, I do have a shirt. Okay. Okay, well, thank you everyone for coming. And we sure are in interesting times, aren't we? So continuing the momentum with Perth was the main reason I, I decided to keep going. And I'm not sure who of you saw the post from Ray Audi message I gave yesterday from Raymond Grace, where he he's, just to give some background, he's the guy who really taught and trained me in everything when it came to this. And I did a lot of work with spiritual warfare over the years and Raymond helped me take it to the next level in Virginia. And Raymond's a blunt, blunt, blunt guy. Like, there's been a few times in times past I've messaged him thinking, oh, yeah, we've made some big shifts. And I write to him, he says, well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, Warren, but I'm not getting the same readings as you. And that's happened to me a couple of times. And, yeah, so for me to get that message, it's a fairly significant. It means that, you know, definitely hitting some new levels here. And I can feel it. I can definitely feel the difference and so we're going to be doing the same stuff we've been doing just to keep things moving but i'm going to do a couple of other things today as well so william and i were chatting before and just so you all know who william is um william's my son but we've yeah look we've been doing this work together for a while and um maybe introduce yourself quickly william what you do like you obviously do shamanic work and clearing yourself and help people clear individual blocks and you see things pretty clearly. So maybe just give a quick minute introduction as to who you are. Okay, well, hi everyone. So I'm William Black and really, I mean, it's quite simple. I specialize in basically clearing people of their trauma, their blockages, their implants and clearing accidents, illnesses or dark masters, whatever it is they want cleared. Basically, it's, uh, I clear it from the etheric and the auric field right before it manifests into the physical. So that's, that's pretty much my whole idea. Yeah, I like William to do it because doing two by two and helping me, we're going to be doing that same kind of work over Perth. So what we're really doing is it says in Ephesians, our battle is not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against realms of darkness, against dark lords, fallen angels, rulers, and dominions. And so we're clearing in the realm of the spirit or the etheric higher dimensional realm over Perth and how that works. Because everything you're seeing manifest in the physical has to first come from higher dimensional um, activity. And those who are in the Satanists, the CIA, those who do black magic know this really well. And I'm telling you that without having time to go into it from firsthand experience, people I've spoken to, years and years of meeting people in every levels from very high levels in um, Freemasonry to um, Satanism to everything else. So there's certain rituals that get, that get done. And when you break those, when you break those rituals, you can see miracles. And we've seen it happen so many times. So anyway, um, let's just um, remember that. So everything is energy um, and energy can be transformed. And, Something that Raymond said to me, and some, and some good news to everyone, is Raymond's going to be doing a lot of interview with me over the next week. So he's going to get on to Zoom with me, and we're going to be doing a long interview and talking about latest developments in energy. And I've asked him to come and help me out because he's been getting some new results, even in clearing, in clearing what's called blocks in the feminine energy. And Grace, you'll love this, but he said he's been doing an experiment with a female healer and seeing extraordinary shifts in the confidence of females step into their purpose in America where he's been doing the work. So he's looking at helping us do that over here to help women go to the next level. So, um, yeah, there's just some great, great, great stuff happening here. And Raymond yep, talks about everything is energy. It can all be transformed. And, yeah, so that's what we can do with Perth. And what Raymond said in his last interview was he said, literally, he said, he's seen things happen the last six months he never believed were possible before. He said, there's like a shift in consciousness that is almost unfathomable, which I agree with him. 
And even just what he was saying to me now, he's saying he's seeing stuff off the chart. So what's happening in Perth? I can tell by his tone he's excited. You know, so no doubt that, you know, there's a bit of work to, way a bit of work to done yet, but it's good to see some progress. And let's just get ourselves balanced. And William and I will just help to just, you know, balance the energies of the group and, you know, bring us into balance, whether we're excited or whether we're a bit fearful, a bit down, you know, bring the excitement back to balance and bring any sense of fear, depression, downness into a state of harmony, um, into a state of um, peace and turn fear into faith-filled action and certainty. I mean, I don't know about anyone else, but it's been interesting being in Perth and feeling the change happen here. But when I feel the energy outside of Perth, it's like, oh, it's like a, I've been getting like acid reflux burning through my stomach. It's been so nuts. And I'm sure some others. It's are like a war zone outside. Perth. Oh, mate, it's like an absolute infested hornet's nest right now, you know? Well, yeah, it's infested with all kinds of gunk. Oh yes, I don't know. I don't know if anyone else is um, feeling it, but just kind of type of why. Okay, that feels balanced now, William. What about you? Yeah, that's balanced. It didn't take long. No. Nah. So what we're going to do now is is very important when we're doing clearing, especially we're going to do a couple of things tonight, which are, uh, as Raymond said, try new things. We're looking at some a little bit of a next level jump tonight, which I'm um, just going to see what happens if it makes a difference. So let's just breathe in for the four through the nose. Hold for three, and out for six for the mouth. So breathing in for four. And hold, and out for six for the mouth. Continue to breathe. And just let's imagine this golden vortex spinning at, at record pace, speed of light, 10 times around Perth. This cultivates the Earth's energies and clears anything that's not congruent with, with what we desire, with the Earth's energies and the higher spiritual um, And then just mentally project a white crystalline pyramid. I feel a lot of energy moving through my body, William. I don't know about you. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> I'm feeling a jolt. I'm feeling jolts of it. Oh, I'm feeling jolts it's going right into my left hand, like really strongly. And we just invite in and, and command and call in and invite. Archangels Uriel, Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, and Metatron, and thank you and thank you most profusely for your service and for your help. And standing at the gates and guarding at each direction at the four wind north, south, east, west. Definitely feel to have Mother Mary tonight, the Holy Spirit and Christ, and the Father. Anyone else you feel, William? No, I sense those are the ones to bring in tonight. Yeah. And we command only those aligned with the word of God and Christ consciousness to be present 
And with all false spirits, fallen angels, or dark energies not aligned with the order of Melchizedek, the order of Enoch, and the office of the Christ to leave now, and any aligned with those orders who are sanctioned to help, we invite in. Ooh. I'm just going to do a scriptural incantation tonight from the scroll of Nehemiah. And some of you may have saw in my post where I wrote about God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and our sound mind. And that's what happens in that. One of the things I learned is that when they realize that they're having difficulties attacking a person, a city, a, a, a group of people, they will try and get in through the back door. And one of the best ways to do is to put fright in the people or lower their vibration through fear, through timidity, and then people subconsciously get scared and they move out of that strong place of that high vibration where they can't be touched and then they can attack them. So there's a lot of misinformation going around right now for that reason. So, so basic, says, yeah, so basically tricking the people. Yep. So there's a lot of tricks out there, like saying this is going to happen and that's going to happen. And who knows, maybe, you know, I'm sure we'll have the odd set back here and there, but I, but some of many of the things that said, I have no doubt will not happen, especially if we do energy work, we have the power of, the shamanic to transform the energies. So now when it came, it came to pass when Sambalat and Tobiah and Geshem the Arabian, these are just spirits and, um, you know, dark spirit guides and the rest of our enemies heard I built the wall and there's no breach left in it. In other words, that there was protection now around the city. It said, they said, come and let us meet together in one of the villages, but they thought to do me mischief. I said, I'm doing a great work, so I can't come down. Why should the work cease and leave it and come to you? So that's kind of like trying to trick you to, to go out of your protection. And here's the one that I feel to particularly read. I came into the house of Shemaiah, the son of Delilah, the um, son of Mehabibal, who was shut up and said, let us meet together in the house of God in the temple and let us shut the doors of the temple for they will come to slay you. Yes, in the night, they will come and slay you. In other words, they're going to come and kill you. They're going to get you. They're going to come and lock you up. They're going to take your food off you. They're going to do horrible things to you. And I said, should such as I, a man such as I, flee? And who is there that being as I am would go into the temple? I will not go in. And I perceive that God had not sent him, but he pronounced his prophecy against me, but I should be afraid and sin. In other words, go against the purpose and what you know to be true. So I just felt to read that to start off tonight as a kind of, yeah, sometimes we, our force is trying to take us off track and you just listen. And all I know is I've been told with Perth that we just, I don't, whatever's going on in any other cities or regions, it's not my, not my, you know, I, I can't answer for that. But I do know for Perth, I've been told to work and listen to no voices of fear whatsoever and stay focused on this. So let's just check this, the um, energy of Perth, Will, see what you get. Is it still 35,000? I'm getting, I'm still getting 35,000. Yeah, I still, I, I still go around 35. It hasn't dropped and it hasn't gone yeah. up. I may need to see if I can get it a little bit higher, like to 37, 38. And let's see what we mm. can do. So I wouldn't imagine there's much going on here, but let's just see if there's any um, demonic or negative possession of any of these guys. No. So let's just maybe just do an auric clearing, just do an auric clearing general command over all the chakras of the key yeah. leaders of the state, William. Let's just do an auric clearing and give them a bit of a hand. Yeah, Mark, I agree. Mark McGowan, Chris Dawson, Roger Cook, um, Andrew Robertson, and um, Andrew Miller especially. Oh, yeah, Robertson and Miller. Well, I think this is the first time that both of them have nothing at the same time. Yeah, this is, this is just playing awesome. <laughs> I know, it's great. First time I, I, I'm not seeing any demons on those guys. This is good. Well, because usually when one is clean, the other one has some. Yep. So Let's this, keep is, this is new. Yep. All right. Well, I'll make the Auric Clearing command. Yep. It is commanded by the laws of the Golden Liquid Realms and our chemical powers. That, that, each, that each politician key leader here, McGowan, Roger Cook, and Robertson, Miller, and Chris Dawson 
are all cleared of all of all auric attachments and all unintended creations from all seven of their chakras and the eight morphogenetic chakras as well. Yep. We clear, we clear, we clear all of this from all seven of the all seven embodied ones, eight morphogenetic ones. And restore, it to its, and restore it to its original divine function and its original blueprint. Now, to Asia in today. Oh, this is good. And I feel to clear any portals or wormholes over these chakras. We we also close and any portals and wormholes in their chakras yep. to other astrals, other dimensions, people, places, times, things, and events. And we provide a third order escort to escort any discarnates to the astral planes justly earned. Now, any that resist, we 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 now bind them in a pale silver reflector orb, commanding them to leave. But uh, and we provide the third order escort to escort them as well, justly earned. Now, and clear. I just feel today clear any portals or wormholes, William, over their homes and families. We also close any portals and wormholes in their homes and in their families, affecting them. Um, we close it to the other astrals, other dimensions, other people, places, times, things, and events, any influences connecting. And we also clear any demonic influence or false spirits or negative entities over that boat near Fremantle. Um, and just speak healing, health, and the blood of Christ over that boat, and clear any spirits of sickness, spirits of illness, and the strong man of our um, infirmity to break and take him in chains, and by the, by the authority of the Order of Enoch, and move him to realms and dark astral prisons justly earned now. Uh, the, there's actually a lot happening right now. Oh, I can see it, yeah. They're being taken off. What are you seeing, Will? <coughs> I'm seeing a lot. Well, I'm just I'm seeing a lot of auric attachments leaving. Yeah, and this I see that and the scarlets are leaving too. Yeah, I'm seeing them, and there's two big spirits that have been put in chains and pulled out from from that boat. Yeah, see it. Well, the strong man is definitely one. Yep. It's so one of the things I've been told to. What I do now is that. People often talk about being kind to these spirits. I'm not. I just have the attitude of they're doing this darkness. I always try and send them to the worst place I'm allowed to send them to. So they kind of get the idea very quickly mm. that they better not hang around too quickly in our state. I don't basically want these, you know, guys around. Nope. No. So let's just now do a big <sighs> overall clearing. Um, okay. So let's just do this overall clearing. William, just clear all of this at once. Yes. Okay, so we cl so we clear the Im any impact of the Schumann resonance, five G, and electromagnetic frequencies, um, any negative entities, negative energetic patterns, negative thought forms and emotions within the people's bodies. We call all fragmented souls back into this dimension and ground them in their physical bodies and remove the ids. <coughs> We clear curses, hexes, spells, demonic influence, and discarnates, especially over people, bars, churches, graveyards, government offices, private homes, human trafficking, and sacrificial occultic ritual sites. We replace, we replace that innocent blood with the blood of Christ and the sacrifice of humans and children with the sacrifice of the lamb. And we, we replace the curses with blessings. We clear anyone with a serial killer, rapist, or violent crime mentality, clearing any negative impact of the, of the social and news media, as well as other cities, leaders, and cultures. And we clear the key water sources, dams, salination plants, all energy, curses and hexes, demons, portals, human sacrifice, drownings, sacrifices, negative entities and emotions, biological, radiological, medical, and any other pollutants, spirit of greed, we clear all of that. We call in the spirit of water. We call in the guardian to raise the frequency of the Montana spring. 
We put a thought form into the water to energize all water it comes in contact with to equalize or exceed the energy of the original water present. <sighs> Scrambling all the frequencies, the energies. A lot's happening far out. So much is happening. Wow. Uh, a lot's happening tonight with the rain and all of this. Yeah, there's things running everywhere. I feel the energy's calming down because it's been absolutely nuts. Hmm. That's better. Oh, it's calmed right down. I like it. I like it. Whoa. Whoa. I also feel, William, do an auric clearing. Just make a command over the, the chakras of the city of Perth. So we've done it over the leaders, but actually, as you know, cities have a personality. They have chakras. So let's mm. let's do an auric um release of the seven chakras of Perth. All right. Okay, so it is commanded by the laws of the golden liquid realms and our chemical powers that all auric attachments and all unintended creations are cleared from the chakras of Perth, the seven chakras of Perth, and the eight morphogenetic chakras of Perth as well from the personality and restore it to its original divine function and original blueprint. Now, to Asia in Tanoi. Oh, gosh. <sighs> Far out. I'm just feeling stuff just race through me and run out of me. Can yeah, a lot is, there's a lot of energies going around. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <coughs> as you know that um those those storms tonight are all about um yeah like in the um you know shamanic teachings and in the you know indigenous shams know that when you see a heavy storm that normally means that things are being broken and being clearing when it comes out of nowhere and unusual like today so mm. last thing i feel to do is just um from the book of enoch um just to um, talk about this one here. So this is um, a fallen angel who, um, yeah, so the book of, book of Enoch, basically, um, talks about um, some fallen angels. Let me just find this, let me just find a chapter at the moment. So here we are. So... It talks because in chapter in verse six, I'll just actually quickly go back to our chapter six. It talks about there was a time when the angels who were watching over the earth actually um, fell, and they actually moved in a and they interbred with mortals and started cloning and caused all kinds of problems. So there was a number of them who went and did this, and you've got in here the main head Azazel taught men to make swords and knives and shields and breastplates and made known to them the metals and the art of working them and bracelets and ornaments and the use of um, these things and costly um, tincture. You know, Simjaza taught enchantments and root cutting. So these are the two main ones I feel to focus on, which are to do with war, you know, against man for the best interest of mankind and Simjaza, who's about witchcraft and sorcery being misused against humanity for one's own ends which is exactly what's going on right now so uh, i just feel that the clearly, energy of these guys is really bad oh shocking absolutely shocking so, so bad they're two of the main <laughs> ones driving the force to take over humanity right now just so everyone just don't say their names lightly just so you know um you've got to don't just um, even even I know even Satanists would not often wouldn't dare it, you know invoke these guys into their stuff. So you know you got to really know what you're doing before you you deal with these guys. So let's just do a general clearing and command to bind their operation and work and influence. William, we're going to do that over the city of Perth. Mm. Okay, by the power of the Christ and the power of the Holy Ghost and the power of the Father and the power of the, and the authority of the honor of, e of Enoch and of Elijah, Moses, and the great prophets, we, we bind Azazel and Semjaza and their influence over the city of Perth. What they do outside of Perth at this time is their business, but we bind their influence over the city of Perth. Anything to do with what's happening with the people, with the war against the people of the city, and we command them to be, to be locked out of the city of Perth and prevented from coming back in and doing any more harm for the people and for the energy now. 
Whew, can you feel that, Will? Yeah. Whew. Oh, I can. Wow, I can see them really come up. They're really like getting removed. Yep. Yep. Coming right out of the out of the pit. Can you see them? Yeah. <laughs> Man, these guys are like the worst of the worst. Even like, oh, yeah. even like Dark Masters fear these guys. Yeah, well, you can see them really. Just so you know, when William actually, for whatever, I, I see them sometimes, but William pretty much sees them. For, um, like as clear as he sees people, don't you, Will? Is that right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. If he came, I would see him. Yeah. I've seen well, him before. I've seen these guys before. Yeah. Not very pleasant. No. Oh, that was quick. That was nice. Okay. Last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna put Perth into a lockdown, into our own lockdown, which is a lockdown of energy to keep these spirits and keep them all locked out of here now. So in his book, This Present Darkness by Frank Peretti, which talked about that, that once you take a city into spirit, they can't get in. So we're going to start the work and over the coming days, we're starting tonight to create a lockdown, lock the yes. city down. So basically can't come in or out without a pass. So give them a bit of our own medicine. So just imagine a shimmering shield and a circle of angels around the city of Perth, like a bright white light in the city like a shimmering mist or fog is the best way to think of it with angels well i can see him coming well can you whoa i can Ooh, light everywhere <coughs> <coughs> there's like so many of them yeah it's just gone really bright i can just see all bright bright energy everywhere at the moment well i even see the castle of nine in there oh do you yeah. Yeah. Well, they've been telling me to do this. That's why they've been ordering me around today. It's been great. Yeah. I can, yeah. The Council of Nine are, are coming in through too. And Zechariah 2 says, Run, tell that young man that a wall of fire will be round and I'll be the glory. So let's also create a wall of fire to burn up any um, satanic or any energy which is not aligned and especially to burn up anything to do with the sons of Belial or anything of that kind. Ooh, I'm seeing a fire start to burn up. Just type in the chat anyone else if you're seeing or feeling anything because I'm this is like I'm passing energy through today like <laughs> any other clearing. So Yeah, this is this is pretty intense. Yeah. All right, let's re-measure the energy. Okay, let's see if we've got it over 35. Let's say over 35. Yeah, it's over 35. Is it over I 30? actually get it's over 40,000. Yeah, let's see. Is it over 38? Yep. Is it over? Is it 40,000 or more? Yep. Is it 41,000 or more? I'm getting around 40, 41,000. I get around 41,000. Yeah, wow. No, that's what I'm getting. 41,000 is the number I've Whoa. got. Whoa. Never had it like that. Whoa. Whew. So, Jody's feeling something. Mm. Anyone else tells anything or? Just yeah. curious. Okay, people a bit quiet tonight. Okay, Feeling someone. everything in the solar plexus, Bob says. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling it too. I was absolutely mm. Mm. burning. You know, my whole stomach was burning in my solar plexus. Before. I had acid reflux for hours and it's all gone now virtually. So obviously that was what was happening. Michael's burning that wall up. Yeah, I love it, Mike. And Steve is lots of energy running through me. Yeah. Ripples, right, Steve? Whoa. well remember what it says the battle is not flesh and blood and as soon as you get that that's why some of you know and i'll say this last thing 
Many of you notice how blunt I am and don't tolerate any nonsense. And the reason why is I'm not dealing with humans. I'm not dealing with that. When I'm speaking, I'm speaking to the spirits behind them. So when I hear the voice of fear or the voice of toxicity, I know I'm, not, I'm, I'm just dealing with a spirit trying to get to me through a person. So I just tell them where to go. So there was a famous healer called Smith Wigglesworth who used to do extraordinary healings. And people would ask him why, like, there was people would have cancer on their face. You'd walk up and punch him in the face and then be instantly healed. And they'd say, why do you punch people? He said, I don't. I punch the spirits. I see leering at me. And the people never got hurt from it, but they got healed of their cancers. So, okay. Anything else you feel, William, or anyone else before we finish? I think the final message is adding on to what you said about the principalities. Yeah. Well, I think everyone needs to hear this. The worst thing that you can do with, with these guys is try to argue and reason with them. Yep. So basically do a Smith Wigglesworth, punch them straight in the face. Obviously not, not literally, but you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, he would do that. There was an old, there's a, there a story of Wigglesworth where he woke up one night and Satan had actually appeared in his room to him. And he goes, oh, it's only you. Go away. And he just lay down and went back to sleep again. <laughs> oh, that man. Yeah, I think that's one of the funniest ones of him. Yeah, he knew his authority. So. <laughs> okay, everyone. Well, thanks very much. And um, go out. Do not listen to the voices of fear. And go out with full expectation. We'll see the city of Perth be a city of light for the world. And be a shining light of prosperity, a shining light of, of strength and order and law and order, and a shining example of how this virus can be defeated in the realm of the spirit and be neutralized and be an example so others can be inspired and do the same. So, but we're going to be having more than one. Oh, yeah, look, when, when we get led, I just do them, you know. So some, some days I feel that it's fine, and we've done a few more lately. I feel at the moment to do more just because we got that, you know, various things going on and you can see that there's a bit of bit of activity. Okay, everyone. Um, and the best way to be is on the offensive rather than the defensive. So as I see it, just get on the offensive. So, mm. okay, everyone. Thanks very much.